on National Chengdu University, Taiwan. The topic I will show with you is first demonstration of heterogeneous IG0 silicon C fat, monolithic 3D integration with dual work function get for ultra low power explain and RF applications. This is my outline. I'm going to start with an introduction which contains monolithic 3D IC, amorphous IG0, the inverter based on IG0, and C fat for baking offline. In the second part, I will show you the verification process of heterogeneous CFAT and IG0 RF device, as well as its SEN and TEN images. Third, the material analysis of IG0 device will be checked after surface treatment. And then, IG0 high frequency characteristic will be subsequently discussed. After that, the voltage transfer curve of two kinds of dual function get HCFAT will be compared. Except for the inverters, we measure the aspirin cells and further simulate the behavior with adjusted get functionalities. And finally, I will make some summarize. In the recent year, monodifist 3D IC is a trend to extend Morris law. To increase the device density, it is foreseeable to fabricate transistor on a glass substrate or interlayer dielectric. It is requested by low fabrication temperature. Therefore, thin fin transistor technology can be introduced to accord with the requirement of the thermal budget. In the previous years, amorphous IG0 became a popular material because of its ultra-low leakage current, higher carrier mobility than amorphous silicon, transparency, low processing temperature, and good uniformity. IG0 have been widely applied on active metric organic LED and displays. To make the displays have superiorities of high performance, low cost, and low power. System on panel is the main trend in the future. Its design concept is to integrate peripheral circuits, such as radio, cir radio frequency circuits, memory, driving circuits, and so on. Therefore, it's become the goal to extend the operating frequency of IG0 into the radio frequency range and design the logic circuit with IG0 to realize SOP. However, IG0 can only be operated as MMOS, and the P-type metal oxide are not stable enough for mass production. Thus, some studies develop the pseudo CMOS based on monotype transistors. Unfortunately, its performance is much poorer than conventional CMOS and has larger footprint. According to these reasons, P-type silicon is still regarded as an option to integrate with IG0 to implement an inverter. Yet, neither the distance between IG0 and silicon nor the hybrid CMOS footprint is considered in the previous work. Consequently, we are devoted to stacked integrate IG0 on silicon to reduce the inverter region. Here is the common gas CFAT architecture we built for stacked polysilicon inverter in 2019 IDM. The P-type channel is stacked on N-type channel directly, and we can make it reverse as well. Therefore, to further increase the transistor density, we try to integrate IG0 with polysilicon by this kind of CFAT. However, there are two main problems when we build stacked hybrid CFAT. First, we reduce stacked polysilicon channel by dipping hydrophilic acid because of its high action selectivity between silicon and silicon oxide. But hydrophilic acid can etch IG0 as well. So silicon oxide can be the sacrificial layer beneath IG0, and IG0 reacts with the other solution easily. Even if we replace silicon oxide by the other sacrificial layer, it is still difficult to find a high selectivity, uh, selectivity solution between them. Some isotropic dry etchings such as fluorine plasma have the selectivity between IG0 and silicon oxide. However, the channel below it will be aged or damaged in this process. 
The other problem is the clean engineering before gas stack deposition. In the, even if both IG0 and second channel are released successfully, their surface treatment techniques are definitely different. According to this issue, we innovate the heterogeneous C fat stru structure with the separated surface engineering, high chemical gas stack, and channel width for uh, top and bottom materials. So let's check how we fabricate it. First, a substrate with the barrier oxide is pre prepared for eliminating the structure when we implement SOG or SOP. Then an ancient stop layer and amorphous silicon was deposited by CVD followed by solid fat crystallization. After that, the source drain region was divided by dormant gas and by the following implementation and activation. Then we use dry agent to thin down the film to match the channel thickness. We need about 10 nanometer or thinner and pattern active area. Meanwhile, the polysilicon covering of IG0 high frequency device is divided as well. Subsequently, 100 nanometer thick silicon oxide is deposited as the isolation of N channel and P channel. Then we define a trench for control gap region of the bottom transistor. And fill in 7 nanometer tears and 500 nanometer dot poly in the trench as the gas stack followed by SPC process. The polysilicon gas can be regarded as the first word function gas in this heterogeneous fat, C fat. As of now, there are three steps are crucial to smooth the topography. One is etching stop layer, another is ultra thin channel, and the other is filled in extremely thick po uh, polygat. They all are the key process to flat the surface for the following top transistor formation. Afterward, we use dry etching to thin down the polygat to 10 nanometer and deposit TIN as the second word function gat in the HC fat followed by gap pattern. Here, IG0 high frequency device is starting, with, starting to fabricate at the same time. Later, 10 nanometer half new oxide is deposited by LD. Then IG0 and TIN was spotted, and they were further divided as the top active layer and source drain electrodes respectively. We choose the gas width and without borrowing to add the source drain electrodes. They will be discussed below. Isopropanol was introduced to clean the surface of IG0 channels before top gas stack deposition. Then a high K layer and TIM were deposited by LD and PVD, followed by gap pattern as the top adjusted gap. Finally, the contact and metal connection were formed for CFAT inverter, s and RF devices. This slide is the ideal condition of HC fat and its cross section along the channel. Here it is control gas and this is adjusted gas. In terms of the RFIC, all devices are double gas structure. And these are the top view SEN image and the cross section TN images along the channel. In the lab figure, this is control gas and this is adjusted gas. They can be separated or connect with each other. In the center image, we can observe the uninterrupted IG0 stacked on uh, poly channel. And the control gets is construct, construct by TIN and dual poly as the dual board function get. First, the surface data status is investigated. To fabricate nanoscale IG0 channel, the isotropic dry etching instead of wet etching is introduced to define the active region. Therefore, the plasma induced ionic molecule might bombard the IG0 surface, leading to the rough surface. AFN analysis shows that the surface can be cured by IPA as smooth as, as deposition. 
On the other hand, oxygen vacancy bothered the IGCL stability in the fabrication process. In the previous studies, fluorine bath uh, dope can avoid the hydrogen influence during CVD process. Consequently, we adopted fluorine bath gas to define its source and drain electrode and treat the IGCL surface in the meantime. Obviously, the area ratio of the oxygen vacancies and metal oxide bonds peak to the whole oxygen peak are lower than that of the as deposited film because of foreign autons replacement. The electrode properties of foreign passivated impact are displayed in the next part. The figure on your left hand side is the DC characteristic of double gas IGZO RF devices with the same 14.4 micrometer effect width and the figure next to it are the cutoff frequency and maximum oscillation frequency, extracted CGD, CGS, and GM. The device without foreign passivity presents the highest drive current, as well as the FDM Fmax because of the highest oxygen vacancy concentration, leading to the high mobility. But on of ratio is too poor to be used in the circuit. On the contrary, the device with foreign passivity performs the excellent switch properties. Their on off ratio are over 9 orders, and the design of single uh, 360 nanometer width channel has 457 MHz color frequency and 560 MHz maximum oscillation frequency, which are higher than that of 4 channel design owing to the lower. Uh, get to source and drain capacitance. We measure the IDVG curve of uh, IGZO device with different gap structure. The double gap device has the lowest swing and the highest uncurrent due to the surface scattering, the, uh, surface carrier circuit scattering reduction. However, even if the single gap devices have the poorer performance, they perform the stretch of body tenability by applying a voltage on another gate. The x axis of the right figure is the bottom gate bias. When we apply the voltage from 3 to minus 3 on the top gate, which is also considered as the adjusted gate in HC fat, the stretch of voltage shifts to positive voltage slightly. The next part discusses two kinds of HC fat inverter characteristics. The IGCO in adjusted GAT HC fat and high performance HC fat is bottom GAT and double GAT respectively. HP HC fat has higher gain and its stretch voltage are closer to the ideal half VDD owing to the symmetry performance of MOS and PMOS obtained by the better IG0 performance. On the other hand, AGHC FAT remains the adjusted gas to tune the stretch voltage of IG0 device. Here are the comparison table of the hybrid stimulus. We successfully demonstrate the stacked heterogeneous channel in an inverter with the dual board function GAT. And compared to the other hybrid stimulus, our CFAT inverter can be updated at the lowest supply voltage and has the lowest swing of PMOS and MOS, the narrowest channel width, and the shortest gate length. In terms of the gate structure of IG0 device, our device has two gates, one for control, another for adjusting stretch voltage. Or you can apply them at the same time to get the better performance. Finally, we will discuss the s ring operation based on AGHC FAT. We would like to demonstrate the stability and adjusted gate functionality. So we measure the butterfly curve of the s ring based on AGHC FAT without applying adjusted gate voltage shown in the right uh, left figure. The cross point of butterfly curve is called treat voltage. The the curve shows a 617 mV hot noise margin as uh, VDD equal 2 volt. 
However, the treat voltage doesn't follow the ideal half VDD, leading to a symmetry left and right noise margin. It's needed to be optimized. So we use BSYN CMG Multigat MOSFET compared model to calibrate both IG0 and P-type polysecant of AGHC fat. With excellent agreement between uh, model and major data. Meanwhile, the stretch of body tunability of MOS in the 60 S brain is introduced to improve S brain performance. First, the hot noise module is optimized by tuning the stretch of body of pull down transistor in free verb region. After applying a specific adjusted gap voltage at different VDD, the trip body becomes fitting with the uh, the high, ideal half VDD. This figure summarizes the hot noise margin of major data and tuned data. The hot noise margin are improved at O supply voltage, especially at low VDD. We can further introduce the, the adjusted gap into excess transistor to optimize explain read operation. By tuning stretch of voltage of pull down and excess transistor, their drive current ratio is changed, leading to the lower uh, read disturb voltage. The right figure plots the read disturb voltage and read noise margin with different adjusted gate voltage of pass gate. The higher stretch of voltage uh, pass gate has, the lower read disturb voltage or, and a uh, better read noise margin we obtain. Consequently, we can apply a specific voltage on pass gate and pull down transistor to get the excellent butterfly curve, which has the symmetry and large left and right noise margin and ideal treat voltage. VD tuning can, can also be applied to dynamically adjust static leakage power consumption in s ring array. On your left hand side is the pseudo CMOS and hybrid CFAT circuits. We use by simulation to predict the static leakage, curve, uh, leakage power. The advantage of CMOS logic using IGC and silicon are more than four orders compared to pseudo CMOS based on IGC or MOS logic. In conclusion, the heterogeneous IG0 silicon channel with dual board function GAT is vertically integrated as an inverter for the first time, without any bonding and CMP process. IPA can cure the IG0 surface damage by plasma, and foreign pass treatment can improve the IG0 contributability. The foreign pass fitted IG0 RF device with a single 360 nanometer wave channel has the best on-off ratio and the excellent high-frequency characteristics because of low capacitance and control carrier concentration. High-performance HC fat perform the higher gain and ideal stretch of voltage, but the MOS VTH tunability is satisfied at the same time. The adjusted gate in AG HC fat can be adopted to optimize not only noise margin but static leakage current that benefit the lower power consumption operations. This work was performed by the Higher Education's proud project of the NYCU and Ministry of Education, Taiwan, and the Ministry uh, uh, of Science and Technology, Taiwan. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Thanks for your attention.